Hello guys, welcome to Film Me Explain. Today I'm going to explain a survival horror movie called Requin. At the beginning of the movie, we can see a couple, Yalen and her husband, Kyle. They are spending a holiday at a beach in Vietnam. They are enjoying the view by staying on the seashore and the house they live in is on the seashore was made of complete wood and was above the water. Galen is in very sad as her child died some time ago but her husband loves her a lot and takes care of her. After some time, they go to dive in the water and during this time, Galen's husband's leg gets injured and blood begins to flow. Now, Galen gets nervous seeing the blood as it reminds her past again. When her child dies before he was born, this time she was taken to home by her husband. When they are talking in their house, it is shown in the TV that a huge storm is coming in the sea but they don't pay much attention to this. When they were sleeping at night, their house is being collided by big waves of the sea. At the start, this seems very common to them as it often happens there but their entire house starts to submerge in water as the water slowly starts coming into their house. Now, both of them were quite worried about this situation. Outside their house, Galen spots some rocks near the seashore and tells her, Husband to go there but he refuses and says that it is a very strong storm, so they should stay inside. Their house, they won't drown and die. After that, they sleep there and in the morning when Yalen opens her eyes, she sees that they are surrounded by water from all sides and also their house is broken. After watching this, Yalen gets angry at her husband because he didn't listen to her last night that they should go to the rocks on the seashore and because of that decision they are now stuck in the middle of the sea and no one can see and come to save them from this situation. As their house is completely made of wood, it is slowly getting damaged by the water. So, they have to find a way as soon as possible to get out of there. But, her husband had a very deep wound on his leg, so he couldn't swim. They were also feeling very hungry and thirsty but as everything was drowned they neither had anything to eat nor drink. Then her husband tells her to go down and watch as there must be something to eat and drink there. Galen goes down reluctantly as she is, afraid of going into the sea. Then, she brings a bag with her which contains a water bottle and she gives it to her husband and says not to worry as someone will come to help us. And they turn that water bottle towards the sun and try to generate smoke using the rays of the sun, hoping that someone will come to help them by watching the smoke but unfortunately their plan fails. Now they were stuck in a very dangerous situation, but still, they have courage and were strong. And just like that, they lay down there. Now, after hearing the sound of helicopter, Yalen comes out of her house and there she sees a helicopter flying in the sky. But unfortunately, it was very far from them and the people in the helicopter doesn't see them. Yalen watches the helicopter as it flies away from them. She yells at them and waves her hand but it's of no use. After some time, she spots a ship few miles away from them but due to the far distance, the ship doesn't notice them. In the meantime, her husband wakes up and tries to create the smoke once again from the bottle but this time he succeeds as the smoke starts to fly. But the ship had turned away before they can see the smoke generated by her husband. It had gone very far away from them, which makes them very sad once again. Moreover, their troubles were increasing for them as the time passes, because the fire had spread all over their house which was created by them to burn the smoke. As fire is increasing after every second, their pole starts burning. Now they have to jump into the water as they have no other choice other than that. The place where they had taken shelter to save their life a while ago now turned into some pieces of wood in front of them with the help of which they can swim in the water. But her husband has a deep cut wound and the blood starts to flow from the wound. A shark starts coming there due to the smell of the blood. Seeing their situation, her husband says that they have to sit on a large piece of wood a few miles. They quickly climb on that piece of wood before that shark attacks them and make them their prey where the shark also reaches them. But as they notice that they are dolphins and not sharks, they start laughing as they thought they were sharks. Now, both of them wait for help. While sitting on the large wood piece, Galen says that everything happened because of her, because if her child had not died, she would not have been in tension. Then they wouldn't have to come there to spend their holidays. Her husband says to her that it's not her fault in this case and not to lose hope and they will definitely come out of there alive and once again live happily. They fall asleep while talking and when Yalen opens her eyes, she is very shocked to see that her piece of wood gone far away from her husband's piece of wood which makes her tense. Also, blood is quickly coming out of her husband's wound and is spread all over the water and his health is slowly becoming worse so she wanted to reach him somehow. That's why she also jumps into water and goes near to her husband but now the real sharks also come there. Smelling the blood, they attack them, due to which her husband falls down in water and Yalen climbs on the piece of wood. 
and tries hard to pull her husband too. But by then Shark has attacked her many times. Seeing this, Galen makes an oar with the help of a ship and takes that big piece of wood away on which she herself is riding and her husband hanging on with support. And as she was very tired, she sleeps there and her husband stands on that wood unconsciously. But when Galen wakes up, she sees that they are on seashore, so she tries a lot to wake up her husband but he doesn't wake up and finally she understands that he is dead. At that situation she feels so scared and broken and starts crying by hugging him as she lost her child a while ago and now her husband too because of which she falls down there and for all this she blames herself. As she remembers the words she told to her husband that they should come to this island to make Galen's heart happy and she feels so worried that she starts screaming loudly because of which she falls there and become unconscious. In the morning, when she finally wakes up she notices that her husband's dead body is not on shore as the big waves take him back to the water where there are big bloody sharks and now she sees her husband's dead body in the water as she is not in her senses. She starts going into the water to bring back the body. Meanwhile, a shark attacks her and gets injured badly because of which she takes care of herself and comes back to the shore. She sees that dust is flying towards her and after that she sees a rock on which she climbs with great difficulty. Then, she sees that a man is lying in a round boat in the water and he is a fisherman comes there to catch fish. Galen feels very happy as she sees him as he seems like a hope for her. She quickly climbs on his boat and wakes him up and then she explains the whole situation to him and asks for his help but that man is not educated as he cannot understand what she was saying. Galen also shows her injured leg to him. The fisherman applies medicine on it and bandages it. As he is a fisherman and has come to catch fish, he jumps into the water and sets a trap and starts going deep into the sea. After going very deep into the sea, he was still setting up the trap and that's the time when a shark attacks him causing a stir in the water. By seeing that Yalen understands that the shark has attacked him, so she calls out to him loudly and after some time, he comes up to the water, but in an injured condition. And at the same time, water is filled with his blood as shark injured him a lot to save his life. Galen jumps into the water so that she can put him on the boat quickly. But the shark attacks and kills him before she could even bring that man in the boat, takes him into the water and eats him, seeing which Galen also feels very sad. Galen thinks what she should do is once. Again she is alone in the boat like before. During this time, the sharks attacks her again in the boat. She finds a sharp blade using which she attacks the shark, because of which the shark runs away from there but it won't leave her that easily as it starts following her boat again. After coming close to the boat, she puts a high jump and turns the boat upside down and now Yalen is under the water. Also very scared because she knows that Shark will definitely come to her again and also attacks her. Then, she gets an idea to save her life. She takes the sharp blade which she found in boat and ties it to her leg. Now Shark has no idea that where she is going now and where is that blade going. And when she goes up from beneath to attack Yalen, then the blade gets into her mouth and gets through and with that the cruel shark is killed and as soon as it dies, blood is spilled in the water. When Yalen finds that the shark is dead, she unties the rope with her legs and by that time shark's body starts drowning into the water along with the rope. After that, she lies on the same boat and looks up towards the sky and she is sure that a shore is nearby where humans lie. And then her boat reaches a place while floating and shore is visible from there. The people who are all Fisherman and they see Yalen's boat and understands that someone on that boat needs help. Yalen looks at the sky and those people gets a sigh of relief. Although she is very sad that she lost her husband and could not bring him even if she wanted to. But in her whole journey, she learnt one thing that no matter how difficult the time in life comes, one should never lose courage and always fight their difficulties. Life definitely gives another chance to the brave persons. If she had given up, Courage, she would have died today but she fought with Shark and finally killed it. And now she has a new life that she wants to live. No doubt she lost her child and even her husband too but she understood that no matter what in the world, a person has to die on some day and have to leave the world. That's why the beautiful gift of life that we got, we should live happily till the last breath of our life. We should accept it. After leaving your loved ones, you should not be sad but you should be patient. The movie ends with this message. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you have enjoyed the video. And subscribe if you are new to my channel. See you in my next review. Don't forget to hit the bell icon.